When you think of an earthquake, what is your first impression? Japan, natural disasters, collapsed buildings, or death? But can you answer the question of what an earthquake is in the most concise way? Here's all the essential information you need to know about earthquakes. Earthquake is a specialized term used in the field of geography. An earthquake is a phenomenon that results from the sudden release of stored energy in the Earth's crust, the intensity of which depends on each occurrence, determined by the Richter scale, due to the displacement of the lithosphere plates, which is the hard outermost crust of the Earth, or underground faults that propagate over great distances. A solitary tremor usually lasts no more than a few seconds, with the most severe earthquakes lasting up to three minutes. The causes of earthquakes usually fall into the following cases, endogenous causes, due to landslides of voids in the earth crust, the collapse of underground caves, volcanic eruptions, and movement inside the earth that accumulate energy in the earthquake generating area. It is estimated that 90% of the current earthquakes on earth are of the tectonic kind. Specifically, according to the theory of plate tectonics, the Earth's crust is formed from tectonic plates, of which there are seven main ones. These plates do not stand still, but move continuously on a layer of hot, liquidy materials. During the displacement, the plates can collide with one another, releasing energy in the forms of waves, which is the main cause of earthquakes. For this reason, earthquakes often occur more severely at the intersection of tectonic plates. Exogenous causes include earthquakes caused by meteorites hitting the Earth. Human causes Human activity, including unintentional or intentional agitation in surveying or in mining and construction, especially underground nuclear tests. The magnitude of earthquakes, N, is also known as the Richter scale. Visualize the Richter scale as follows. From 1 to 2 unrecognizable, from 2 to 4, noticeable, but usually does not cause damage, from 4 to 5, the ground shakes, an explosion is heard, but the damage is negligible, from 5 to 6, houses shake, some buildings start to crack, from 6 to 7, houses are slightly damaged, from 7 to 8, strong earthquake destroys most of the conventional construction causes large cracks or subsidence on the ground. From 8 to 9, houses are collapsed, the ground sinks to a depth of 1 meter, large landslides in the mountains are accompanied by large-scale terrain changes. Above 9, very rarely. Earthquake with M greater than 7 do not occur everywhere but often concentrate in certain areas, called high seismic activity zones. Earthquakes that occur on the seabed can cause landslide or deformation of the seafloor, giving rise to tsunamis, large waves that travel the oceans and then make landfall. Sometimes earthquakes even activate volcanoes, even those that have been inactive for a long time. Japan is one of the countries where earthquakes are frequent with different magnitudes, causing significant damage to people and property. Signs of an earthquake According to geologists, it is practically impossible to predict where and when earthquakes will occur. However, experts have pointed out a few telltale signs that an earthquake may be imminent. Firstly, observe the behavior of animals such as dogs, cats, fish, squirrels, mice, etc. to see if they have any unusual behaviors. This is because of the movement this is because the movement of the rock layer below the ground before the earthquake created electric waves that some animals can detect. They can feel weak shock waves before humans can. Specifically, dogs may display unusual behavior such as excessive barking slash biting. Pets may suddenly run away or disappear. Or birds and chicken may lay fewer eggs than usual in the period before an earthquake. Secondly, pay attention to the rock layer and water level of rivers and lakes near the area. If said water levels drop abnormally or overflow without any heavy rain during that time, it is a sign of volatility. 
Thirdly, observe the sky and wind direction. If you notice an unusual calm in the atmosphere, it will be a sign of abnormal climate change and, most likely, an impending earthquake in the area. That is all the knowledge and experience that I have gathered regarding geological vibrations. I hope it will be useful to you, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as motivation for me to further develop the channel. Thank you, and see you in the following videos.